and named uh, today preseason first team all all SEC. How does it make you feel? Oh, really? I didn't even know that. Um, it's, it, that's the first time I heard that. But uh, you know, it's it's good. But you know, preseason. Um, you know, when I think of preseason stuff, you know, I think of that year when we were picked. I think like second to last to finish in the SEC, and we won the SEC regular season. And so, uh, preseason awards they can be they can be uh, good and bad. Just uh, I think it's all off of you know uh, how they think you're going to do. So you got you got to live up to those expectations or uh, or beat whatever they, they're saying. Man, it's been great. And honestly, you say a couple of weeks, but it's, I feel like it's been like four or five months um, that we've been playing together, and, and it's felt great. Um, no, no, uh, not to down last year, but last year was just so different with COVID. I mean, we weren't even able to practice during the during the summer and even during the spring or the fall, rather. Uh, and so just being able to practice, being able to hang out with my teammates uh, and, and them not telling us no, that we can't hang out, uh, practicing, playing, pick up, all of that, uh, you know, it's been great. Uh, you know, we, we've, I'll, you know, this team has already grown so close together uh, yeah. just because of the things that we've been able to do. And so uh, it's been a great first few months. Man, really excited. But, you know, going back to baseball, man, Coach Vitello <laughs> and his staff and his players. Man, yeah, what do you that, think that about was, that? That was something, uh, I mean, not I'm, I'm not honestly the, huge, the biggest baseball fan, um, but, man, and I went to a few games, uh, you know, early last season and kind of saw their, their progression all season and then, them having the success that they did, and, and I went to every single um, every single home game. Um, man, those fans were great. Um, you know, the administration did a good job uh, here at Tennessee of just packing that stadium out. And then, like I said, Coach Vitello and, and his players. Uh, man, it was it was so fun being a part of that. Shoot, um, my favorite Halloween costume. Um, I can't, but I can tell you a really good one I saw last year. This was a great one. I don't know if you've seen Outer Banks, the TV show, and this guy, he had grown, I don't know if he had grown his hair out, but his hair was long anyways, and I'm telling you, he was like a spitting image of John B. John B. He had, the, the, you know, the uh, the bandana around his neck, yeah. the unbuttoned shirt and everything. Uh, you know, he, he did a very, very great job of, of wow. being John B. That was pretty good. I almost had a double look just to make sure it wasn't him. Uh, it, it was really good. It's almost like he, he... This team, you know, I love playing this team. Ever since I've been here, I've been... Everybody, it's so much talent around this team. So many great players, the coaches, every, everything. Everybody's great. Everybody does what they do. Everybody do what they're supposed to do when they come in. Compete in practice every single day. It's just so much talent around this team. And I think the great strength is we all buy in together and we all want to win. And I feel like when we all do that, once it turns to the games, you know, we could be in practice every day and nobody likes losing at practice. So, you know, that's that's a great mindset. That's the mindset we want to have is win and compete every single day. Some things I can take away from the USA is, you know, it was more physical down there, as I can say, and more getting more stronger for me and that's why I did when I came back to OG and they get more stronger and you know the style of play over there there's a lot of shooters over there and you know just the speed of the game you know the speed from high school to college way different and more exhausting you know running down that first week of practice you're just tired running up and down the court just you're not used to the speed so that's why I say I learned a lot from USA coming back to coming back here back in the summertime just uh the more physical style of play overseas compared to playing over here. Yeah, my favorite team is the Memphis Grizz, my hometown. Memphis Grizz is my favorite team. And my favorite players to watch are Chris Paul. And, you know, and ever since I've been here, I've been starting to watch Tony Parker a lot too. So that's Kobo and me, he's been talking about players to watch. I always, I, he always had me watch Chris Paul when I first got here. And that's always been my, he's always been my favorite player. And now I've started watching with him, Tony Parker. And yes, I model my game after both of them. Especially Chris Paul, you know, I, like I said, I just started watching Tony Parker, you know, studying his film. Studying his film. That's what I like to do a lot. Me and Cole Barr watch a lot of film together. And, you know, I studied my game really out of them. And that's what, that's what those two point guards I really look up to. Favorite Halloween candy? Man, I ain't been really trick or treating. I don't know how long. <laughs> I can't even say what my favorite Halloween candy is. I don't mean last time I went trick or treating. It's been so long. What if you just had to pick up something from the store? 
My favorite candy is gummy bears. <laughs> Sour gummy bears are really good. Those are my, that's my favorite candy, so. Uh, candy corn, that was, those are good. I remember eating those, but it's been a while since I went trick or since I ate some Halloween candy. He's not going to eat my candy bears. <laughs> oh, I'm really, I'm really, really excited, actually. I can't wait. I know the rest of my team can't wait. But the main goal at the end of the day is just to get me. Oh, it has been great to uh, everybody on the coaching staff and uh, my teammates really helped me to uh, adapt. So the first couple of days were hard, but they told me, don't worry, uh, you'll be fine. So they really have been uh, helpful to mentor me and uh, help me to be who I am. I know. Uh, they really love the game and uh, most of them spend a lot of time here. Um, we uh, spend a lot of time here, we play, we do all kinds of stuff. Like the walk ethic, uh, literally, uh, how you say, it impressed me the most. And uh, so I already want to add it to my package, uh, the way I'm acting everything. So I really like um, just uh, the way we interact with each other. We are very friendly and we like to have fun and everything like that. Now, it's very exciting. Um, when you play this game, you, you want people to come see you, watch you. So we uh, we cannot wait to see them and everything. And like you said, they, they really care about uh, this game, they care about us, they care about winning. So uh, I'm very, very excited for it. Uh, I watch Yanis uh, Antetokounmpo and I watch all, all the center, Joel Embiid, and pretty much everyone who play my position with uh, I want to say perfection, very good at it. <laughs> yeah. um, it's been pretty good. Um, the transition has been pretty smooth. Um, coming um, before, like, committing here, I um, had, like, a lot of decision, like, a, a lot of, like, plan to into this decision, but it all worked out. Um, from from, from, the, from day one when I stepped on campus, it was good. Um, me and JP were the first two on campus and stuff, so just working out with him and, like, getting the chemistry right with him. And then... So the guys came back, it was just all good. Um, and, uh, it's been pretty fun. Um, one main goal that I have for the, for the for the season, for the team, is average 10 rebounds. Um, I really, and that's really what, what I would like to focus on for the team and um, being able to rebound on both ends of the floor, um, to lead my team in rebounding, um, and to possibly like lead the, lead the nation in rebounding too. Um, 